Hello and welcome to Game Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play some more of Vampire today. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you can. I'm gonna keep on getting through some more of this game. I have called it Vampire in the past and I just did that and do that because I think of this as the Vampire game because I think of vampires in fantasy as opposed to vampires in fantasy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let's do this. By the sword you die. So I have a shotgun now and... I've upgraded my weapons, I just am not sure I am strong enough to take on this bad guy. But I'm going to give it my best shot. And I've already killed so many citizens in order to actually become strong enough <laughs> to attempt this fight again. So, I'll just have to hope that I'm leveled up enough. Again, thank you so much for watching. So, let's do this. I'm level 26. And I've upgraded absolutely everything that I thought I could. And I'm now looking for the elevator. And the elevator is actually up here. Okay. Your poisonous boy is I'm gonna useless fight on McCullum. Me. You can only get one good shot in. I'm gonna heal up and get a shotgun shot in. Oh. I'm gonna heal up and then. I am going to heal up again. My health is already down. I'm going to just dodge for a minute and try and get in close enough to shoot. Okay. Let me just see if I can hit him. This tiny little weapon does absolutely nothing, but it's better than no weapon at all. I just need to avoid the sun. Try something else. Okay, now I'm getting out of that little trap. I'm gonna use my best attack. And then heal myself up. And smack him a bit. Show some style. I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna swap my weapons to this one for a minute. Because I do need to actually get some stun in. Ah, oh, dodge! I need to dodge. I need him to stun. And I need to get in close and smack him a bit. Because if I don't, 
I am dead. And I am dead. I am going to try a couple of times until I actually defeat this bad guy. <laughs> and I'm going to keep in depth in this game. I feel like this game is similar to Dark Souls in the sense that you die a couple of times when you're actually fighting bosses. So I'm going to keep in depth and keep on fighting this bad guy until I win. Come on, Reed. Try something else. <laughs> I feel like the first thing that I actually need to do is to make sure that his stun meter is really close to down so that I can actually drink his blood. And then I need to do that again. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. I'm gonna get that attack and get in close and hit him once and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and lower his stun bar and then use my better weapons later there you go that's much better okay I'm gonna run now now I'm going to actually swap up oh my goodness heal 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 okay Heal up. Okay, now I'm gonna swap up for this weapon and hit him. And then bite him. Then get out of the stun. Then heal up and then stun him. That's better. And then shoot him. While I heal up. I'm gonna get my shield on. Okay. I need to use my best attack on him and just smack him a couple of times. I'm gonna get my big weapon out and smack him. That didn't work. I need him, good, to just come to me. Well, I need to run. Oh, that's not good. I need to get my shield up. Shield. I need to get out of the sunlight. And I need to wait until he's charging at me again. Okay. Now, smack him a couple times. I need to run. Oh, no, he hit me. That's not good, but I'm so close to killing him. I will just play this safe. And try and get one more hit in. I just need a couple of more seconds. And one more hit. And then I can bite it. Now I can heal up. I will keep on fighting this way just for a minute because I need his stun bar to go down. It is so much more refreshing to be able to fight him this way. Because when he uses his gun, it's actually pretty challenging. Come at me. I'm going to take down a stun bar a little bit. I'm also going to hit him. I'm going to use my best attack. And then hit him a couple of times. I'm going to stun him, hit him, and then run. I'm going to get my shield up. It hurts, doesn't it? Whoa, this is not good. I'm going to get out of his range. And then heal him, and then stun him, coming close. Smack him, and then run. This is so close. Why does simple light burn you so much? Okay, 
Okay. We're gonna smack him again, and then run. Wow, he's very quick. Oh my goodness, I'm running. This is tricky. Shoot him. I got a good shot in. Now I can stun him. And bite him. Now I can heal up. Put on my shield. I'm gonna wait until the light goes away and then hit him again. And then heal up. I'm gonna use my best attack. And come in for a couple of hits. I'm gonna run. And heal up. Smack him. Get out of range of the light. And smack him. And then, use that attack. Smack him, drink his blood. Then I'm gonna get some distance. Swap up to my gun, shoot him. Shoot him. Yes! We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I am a monster, and he did hunt me down, but I'm going to say we could collaborate. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I, but perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. <sighs> That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? I will turn this guy. <laughs> I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. No! Kill me! Bring it. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You're allowed to be hunted, just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed you, uh, uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Uh, Welcome to the world through the looking glass. Woohoo! I'm really glad I actually turned him. I'm so curious as to what kind of vampire he is going to be. Woo! I finally did that boss fight. I'm going to keep in depth in this game. I'm really glad I finished him. I've also managed to figure out how to play this game properly, and I think that when I mix my gun with my melee weapons, I'm actually much better at this game, and I think I might actually be able to play this properly if I continue to play like that. Science without conscience. That was interesting.
I can't wait to see... What's going to happen next? Oh, I'm so curious. <laughs> This is a blind playthrough, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I've turned the vampire hunter into a vampire. And he can't kill himself, so I can't wait until he actually starts to kill the guard of Prewen with me. <laughs> So it is through drinking the blood of a vampire that you become a vampire. That is interesting. I don't remember... ...where Jonathan actually did that to turn his sister. I honestly can't remember. There you go. Give me a rat. I have this thirst for blood. Cool, I can rest, I might as well. Okay. Can I upgrade this even more? That's 3,400. That's really the thing that I want to upgrade. That's 2,000. I'll wait until I can actually upgrade that. Or something similar. This is despicable. I'd step back, sir. Over there! <laughs> I'm gonna get in close to finish off these guys. This game is good. quickly finish off this bad guy. Sorry, I thought I turned off my device. Just give me two seconds. Okay, so I'll attack you. I shall get out this weapon and just get some slicing in. Slice, 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 slice. That'll rather and then I'll use my attack. And then I'll come close and finish you off. Use that attack. There you go. Awesome. Sweet! Okay, awesome! I can't wait to actually just keep on getting through this game. I just got a little bit of a message, but I turned off all my devices or so. I thought I just missed one. <laughs> um, so, let's go!
so I can't wait to actually finish this game. I'm getting through it properly now, and I understand how I'm supposed to play it now. So I Prima didn't never initially. left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Okay. Let me attack him. No, I couldn't get like a blind attack in. That's all good. Whoa. I am gonna get a shot or two in and I'm also going to use my range attack. And then stun the priest and then smack the priest. I'm so close to killing the priest. There you go. Two can play that game. Now let's talk it. I can go and rescue Swansea! Yes! That's so good! I need to go next. I can't believe I'm doing this. Downstairs. Oh, of course. It is not gonna be this way, but it is actually like that lowermost level of the It's place. locked. Dr. Edgar Swansea. Oh good, I've got Doris Fletcher's diary. I might have missed it the first time. Okay, so in order to get to the lowermost level of this place, I'm gonna drink some more blood. In order to get to the lowermost level of this place, I think what I need to do is to go here. I really like this weapon, even though it's not as powerful as other weapons, it really does a good job. It kills the enemy really well. That's where the next enemy is. Okay. Whoa, good shot. And then I just slice them. Until they die, like, that's a really cool weapon that I have there. That saber is awesome, I want to upgrade it as well. You see, I don't understand the criticisms of the combat in this game. I think that anybody who actually criticized the combat didn't spend enough time getting good at the combat. Once you figured out how to use your gun and vampire powers, this is such a cool game. Where is Dr. Swansea? How do I get there? It's locked, all right. That door's locked. That's great, but I've already been here. Come on, show me the way. Investigate. Yeah, how do I get there? Like, it would be really good if you could tell me how I'm supposed to actually continue the game. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm confused. 
I feel like I should open this door. I cannot enter. Swansea is not here, but Dr. Edgar Swansea is lower than me right now. And I've got to figure out how to get lower than me. Investigate the Swansea kidnapping. Yeah, I know. I'd love to investigate the Swansea kidnapping. Can you please show me how I'm supposed to get to Dr. Swansea? This is taking me the wrong way. I think I need to go this way. Drink some more blood. This is despicable. And then wander around for a bit. I don't know. Oh, there's another bad guy here. That must be a good sign. Yes. Okay, I got two screws from that guy. Now. Where do I go? I've eliminated all enemy units here. Do I go this way? No. I go... <laughs> downstairs to find Dr. Swansea. I just don't know how I'm supposed to get there. How am I supposed to get there? I am slightly unsure. Maybe more than slightly unsure. I am unsure. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> They've made their base of operations here. That's great, but how do I get to their base of operations? I don't want to spend my time just being confused. And now I've killed everybody here. That's a it's good locked. sign. That door is locked, which means I need a key, which means I don't know how to progress to the next part of the game because this game can be tricky to navigate. Oh man, alright. Let me let me just go around one more time. No, I've done everything I've needed to. I've killed everybody in the vicinity. I've done the things. It's locked, all right. That door's locked. This place looks unfamiliar, and maybe that's a good thing. Except it leads to a dead end. Oh my goodness. I don't it's know locked. where to go. Oh, I just wish that this game let me get ahead instead of getting to another section of the game that I didn't know how to play. Oh, how do I do this? Oh. I'm gonna drink some more blood. That's the solution to all problems. I shall go downstairs and hang out here and just look at everything that I can because maybe there's a key that I missed I will explore the entire area here is there anything that I missed so far I don't believe so Kind of it's now. locked, all right. Is there anywhere I can teleport to that I missed? No. All right, wait, let me see. I'm going to have a look at McCullum's report. I was just going to finish this video, but maybe there's something in this. I'm not going to read that. If you'd like to read that, please go for it. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Now I know where I need to go.
Hiya! Surprise, sir! You shall taste my wrath! And more of it! Ha! You died, sir. There you go. Oh my goodness! Please don't tell me that was Dr. Swansea. Poor Dr. Swansea. They beat him up. It's locked. It's another it's locked, locked thing. Louis of Marshall's memoirs. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. That is interesting. Okay, let's go and talk to Dr. Swansea. Hey! Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Yes. Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. I've got you, Dr. Swansea, I've got you. Sit down, just take a minute, you're okay. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. What? Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? No. They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? I thought I could convert him. Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I believe you. I trust you, Edgar. But the guard of Prewen is onto something. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why accuse us of creating the epidemic? Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. Oh, poor guy. And if he is dying, I will save him. I'll do absolutely anything that I need to to save him. About William Marshall. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why such a reputation? Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stole has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. That is interesting. Why is he so special, though? And why is Prewen obsessed with him? Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. Wow! They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Then the guard of Prewen must have been quite thorough the first time they tried to kill the vampires. 
You have exp some... Mm, look, I don't want to say that. That's why I kind of messed up my words there. You have some explaining to do. He's dying, man! Go help him! While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Yeah. Doris Fletcher's real name. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No. I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Remember Harriet Jones? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yeah. Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Please don't tell me that Dr. Swansea is spreading the vampire virus. Oh! <laughs> No way! That would be crazy. Doris Fletcher got infected in Pembroke. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Don't you see the pattern? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Somebody at the Pembroke is infecting others. Do you know where we are? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother, she seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. Yes! And rabies is not the devil at work. There is no coincidence. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did Whoa. what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbridge. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? Damn! Oh God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? Yeah. We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Wow! I'm going to turn Dr. Swansea into a vampire. It is such a shame that he actually 
did the wrong thing though. I hope you're not seeing little messages that pop up on my screen, but you might. I'm not going to kill Dr. Swansea. I think he was trying to do the right thing, but he just went about it in such a bad way. I'm going to turn him. No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. <laughs> but it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Wow. Oh, indeed, I am ready. The Dying Swansea. I'm okay with losing a hint. Or a few hints. This is a blind playthrough. I don't know what's going to happen, but that was fascinating. <laughs> I thought so highly of Dr. Swansea as well. Wow. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to expect next, but I'm excited to continue this game. But all right, I think I finished this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you can. I will see you next time on Games Games.